let's just zoom in a little you know before i zoom in don't be looking too much you know my skin look crazy don't care what people say the rush is worth the price i pay YouTube, it's your girl May Banks, and welcome back to my channel. And today, I will be giving you five easy and fun graphic liner looks that you can use on your everyday makeup or on Valentine's Day, you know, to spice it up a little bit. And you can use these looks in any type of color that you like. I'm going to be using the Athena Painting Palette for all these looks, and maybe some eyeshadow, most likely my Morphe palette. But I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell because YouTube does not tell you when I post, and I really want to see you post a part of the for me. And yeah, let's just get started with this video. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start with the Athena palette. And tip number one is always look down into your mirror. This way is very easy to see your entire eyelid. And you can just take everything a step at a time. Always remember to relax because this is very time consuming, especially if you're a beginner. The best way to hold the brush is basically like how you hold a pencil. And use your pinky and your ring finger as a stabilizer on your face. And always go in small strokes, very small, very tiny, because it's just better, especially when you're a beginner. You can just map out everything and make sure you know which way you want to go. So just take your time with it and remember that everything builds up. It's better to build up the product than just go straight forward with a line and just messing up. Now, for the ends, what I did was I flicked up just like if I was doing a wing liner, but instead of going straight up, I decided to curve it, almost like doing a C. So just do a C shape, and this way it can give you that curve that you want. In terms of symmetry, you can actually use your brush as like a guide, and that way you'll be able to know when your line is going to start on the other side. It's always great to kind of just go hand in hand on both sides so you can be able to just have a very even type of shape or liner. I also do this with um, eyeshadow. It helps really well. Now, as you saw, I kind of did the same thing, but I just moved the line a little more forward to really create that thick shape at the end and just fill it up. I went over it about three times so I can get that really nice white consistent color all throughout the actual line. And if you're actually like me and wanted to add a little pizzazz, I just did my little dots. Um, since I didn't use any lashes, I kind of just went on with mascara. I needed something to kind of like even out everything. And I also went in and did my signature three dots, which is just significant to me, my favorite um shape is a triangle and i just like three dots you know just works and this is the final look you know get into it get into it purr, purr, purr. so since we're starting with no foundation in this look i'm actually gonna moisturize with the sukin australian skincare line and i've been loving this stuff like i usually don't use a lot of new brands but this is an all natural brand and it's been really helping i've been noticing small changes in my skin and actually like the coloration and i always start off in my t-zone area because like i said my t-zone area has gotten very dry around my nose and my forehead and i like to massage everything in in circular motions very focusing a lot under my eyes for my eye bags i learned that um usually like japanese korean culture like with them they usually do a lot of like massages in their face to kind of keep the structure and the blood flow oh you see that little peach one? Ay, go on, yeah wax that girl but anyways and they also pat their faces to create blood flow so i've been doing that a lot lately today i decided to do a yellow liner because you know it matches my sweater or whatever it can they be you know I me mean? and we're going very simple this way i just decided to do just a nice line on top of my eyelid going back and forth making sure that everything is very even all throughout just a nice simple line i feel like this is very cute for just like if you want a pop of color and you don't want to do the full winged cat eye like dramatic look and you can always just pop on some lashes and leave it like this but since i'm not gonna do that we're just gonna be crazy and extra so this time i decided why not put my liner down and i decided to do a nice little line on the top and it came out really some really straight like do you see that girl you see that came out really straight that was just like to add a little pizzazz and i did a little bit of mascara but my eyelashes were clunky so it didn't really work too much and then i just decided to put a little bit of yellow on my nose and my lips to kind of keep that theme in check 
And I feel like this was a cute way to kind of just like do something without doing too much, especially since I was doing a very basic outfit. Okay, so for this look, I already kind of started with an eyeshadow. I wanted to go for like that bags, colorful bags, you know, and since it's all in trend, but it's giving me very Chico vibes. But always make sure that your brush is very pointy, you already know. And I was scared. I was using the Athena palette, but since it's oil based, it was coming out very thick, and I wanted my lines to come out nice. So I ended up using this Nazaru. And I like this stuff because it's water based, so all you have to do is spray a little bit of water, and it will automatically work so i only spray like two spritz and it just be working like i love me some snazzaro and i was scared because this ended up looking like flames and i suck at flames i swear to god i've tried to do flame um eyeshadows and it never works all that fire stuff nope don't work and i was gonna connect it but i was like eh. i got a little scared i was thinking about it. i'm like oh no and then noticing it, I was just like, how am I going to create this on the other side? Like, I was scared. I had to, like, literally sit there and just, like, mentally prepare myself, talking to myself in the mirror, like, you got this, girl, you got this. Eventually, I did. And then I used a white snazzaro to kind of give a little bit more of, like, that oomph. Because I feel like I need a little more pizzazz, you know, a little more razzle-dazzle. And, yeah, I ended up doing a little bit of dots. And then I was just like, mm, you know, I see it or whatever, I see it. So I put on some, you know, I was looking very dead, but I put on some little as itty bitty lashes that I would never wear, but I can't find my, my lashes. I already told you, I lose all my lashes and I had these little itty bitties, but this is the final look. Look at me, looking all cute. Mm, look at me. But yeah, I hope you like this one. I kind of, I kind of love this. It was given. So for starters, I want to say if you have made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. And um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell because you will get my notifications. But yeah, like this video if this is something that you're interested or you just enjoy watching. I actually had a lot of fun doing all these liners because like eyeliner is has been a very big thing for me in makeup i've always loved it i love me a wing a wing is my signature look and being able to push myself to create more cute winged eyeliners has been very fun and this little lip combo i've been doing too loving it feeling it and it's just been very fun it's a great way to express myself and yeah get into this look though feel me very icy very blue very i'm dying for hyperthermia finally made it to the last video guys the last look and i decided to go with my classic black original og liner and you know it was given you know and then i wanted to do something that had a heart with it so i was trying to draw a heart and finding a way to make it flow throughout my eyes so i was just you know i was struggling a little bit got on my hair i was going through it the the makeup was being very oily so it was kind of hard to like really stack it in there but i made it work i was actually you know enjoying it and just trying to relax and just vibe out with it and i ended up trying to put some pink on my lips to kind of give that pink vibe going and it came out kind of cute and i noticed that all my looks i didn't use no foundation so i decided to show you guys what i was doing i was doing coconut oil a little bit of fit me setting powder on my under eyes and under my lips and chin area where my laugh lines are usually at and then you can tell that i enjoy putting on some blush because it's one of my favorite steps it looks so cute and i put a little accessory on my hair and i was just feeling myself I'm not even gonna lie i was looking very cute look at me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i want to say thank you to all of you guys for supporting me and for making it through this whole video i love you guys 